maybe not a popular opinion, but I am not into blue inks. I'm more into like purple. Um, I also noticed that there are a lot of red sheening inks. So you do have. Hi, this is Kai from Kikai Craft. It's been a hot minute since I have put together an ink swatching video, and I'm a little excited because I do not realize and I use the present tense because seriously I thought I had only a few blue inks because uh, just maybe not a popular opinion but I am not into blue inks I'm more into like purple and green and uh, maybe warm tones I didn't realize again I didn't realize just how many blue inks I have so um, to continue with, where is that? Like a compilation? Yep. So, to sort of continue my little, like, list, swatching, encyclopedia of sorts, not really, more like a sample swatch book. Um, I've decided that today I want to look at my blue inks because seriously, I feel like I have a lot for us to check and so today um, let me share with you what I use for swatching so whenever I swatch I have this little eyedroppers I got this from the Colorverse uh, mini sets looks like this and so I have a lot a lot of that so I just use that because it's really really good I also use some bottle caps for putting the blobs in. I have two sizes today because I want to play a little. Um, I'll be using a glass nib today. So this is the dominant, um, what do you call this thing? Okay, I feel so unprepared. Actually, I've spent hours preparing. This is the dominant industry uh, glass pen. If it works, then we are good. If it doesn't, I'm going to use my cat glass pen. Um, this is actually a very new addition to my collection and I got this because it is tiny and I love pocket pens so I thought that would be a nice addition to my pocket pen collection. I'm also going to be using some of uh, my used kitchen towels. I reuse them, I dried them up and then reuse them because they're strong that way and I'm really all for conserving resources. And of course we'll be using jars of water. All right, um, so there is some sort of a system. I have grouped the inks based on the region that they're from. <laughs> well, first off, it's based on the uh, brand and then on the region. So we have the Western Hemisphere and the Eastern Hemisphere sort of thing. I have all those made in uh, UK together and those made in, okay, well, you, you get the drift. So I'm not gonna get into that, it's just too much talking. Um, suffice to say, I have inks from Vinta, Tinta no Centara. I have inks from a, on inks, Troublemaker, Waringal, Colorverse, some unknowns because my local shop, handwritten pen shop, has like mystery inks that he shares sometimes and he never tells us where it's from. I have some sailors, I have some pilots. What else do I have? Yep, of course, J.R. Bond. What is this doing here? That's supposed to be green. Well, today we're gonna have a few that might be more teal than blue, uh, but we'll have to see. This one actually looks like blue in some of my swatches. Um, then we have inks from Diamine, we have inks from Detrimentis, we have from Robert Oster, uh, we have from Waterman, Monteverde, and Mont Blanc. Uh, I think that's about it. Okay, so enough talking. I'm going to start swatching. I won't be talking much throughout all of this i'll just really be swatching and then you'll hear me again maybe at the end when i start talking about all the inks that i've swatched all right so i will see you on the other side
All right, we're back. So my hands are blue. What did I expect? I had a lot of like sheening blue inks today. Um, okay, so this is how it looks. So you can see already that some that seem to be blue were actually more purple and some that I thought would be blue are a bit more on the teal turquoise end of it. Um, and then some were like deep, so deep that they're almost black and uh, yep so you have a whole gamut of blues and blurples and teals and turquoise and sheen and shimmer right in front of you um and i thought this sort of exercise just putting all the inks of that color family into uh sheets of paper like this really gives me a better grasp of what inks that I have and which ones I tend to go for and which ones I really want to keep. Um, since I do want this to be a very uh, honest sort of uh, documentation, here are my thoughts right now. First off, uh, the range of Diamine inks really impressive. They have loads of different types of blues in their uh, palette if you could call it that i really like the detrimentous inks um especially this indian blue i love it i wish i could put it in a uh, sailor pen i'm a little bit worried because of all these little um particles but i this is like an ink i really wish i could use more often um i realize now that some blue some green teals really tend to be more green than blue even if they sort of look more blue on their uh, like if you can see here it's actually more of a blue but here it's really more of a green I don't know if it's a paper because if you don't know it yet the paper the ink and the nib they all play a factor in bringing out the colors of different inks um, and I always thought that, whoa, for such a purple kind of girl, I am surprised that one of my favorite inks is a blue. It turns out it's not very much a blue, but more of a purple. One More Sleep is one of my favorite inks. This is from Inkvent 2022, and I super enjoy it. That's a green Inkvent calendar from Dying Mine as well. Um, I also noticed that there are a lot of red sheening inks so you do have the very infamous uh, organic studio nitrogen which is just lovely because look at that even when you write with it it's like there's sheen everywhere okay but dugong bughao from vinta inks um is a very very close uh contender for it if not it looks very alike actually even with the writing um and bazinga a little secret ink from handwritten pen shop looks very much like it as well vinta has a more deep purple leaning version of it it's their tubataha um so you have these four looking very alike and if you go to ferris wheel they also have their own red sheening um inks so you have tears of sapphire with sheen and shimmer and you have tumbling time blue which is almost the same, except this is more teal and this is more blue. I mean, seriously, only fountain pen users would see the difference, but here we are. Um, Skull and Roses from Dye Mine also sport a very similar feel, but I feel that the sheen isn't as pronounced with the writing. There's still a lot of like blue, a little mo as well, a cult pens exclusive with Dye Mine. Um, so yes there's a lot of blue with red sheen Ooh, arctic blast is this from this year or last year uh and again another ink vent ink i think last year um but of all of them i suppose the one that really got my hands stained would be nitrogen and dugong bukao dugong bukao never fails to ink sorry to ink stain my hands um, I really would like to use these inks, but if I'm going to use them and I'm going to end up with hands that look like this, eh, I have to know if the risk is worth the writing. 
Um, and it's also very unfortunate that as I swatched all of these inks, I found that two of my inks developed mold. And unfortunately, they're both from Vinta. So you can see it's uh, it does smell a little funky. And I hate the fact that they develop mold because that means I have to throw them away. And they are two of my favorite inks. Um, actually, Cosmos is... Sai Sai is, uh, okay, so that goes into the bin. Those go into the bin. So that was a little sad. Um, I suppose lesson learned is that if you have samples or if you have inks and you're, well, maybe they come from a newer company, it would be good to like um, use them or share them um, and not keep so much. I don't know really how molds work. Are they there from the start? Um, and if they are, then don't share them. So now I, I, I don't know. Maybe I need to do a bit more research on that. Um, okay, so which ones are my favorite blues? Inspired Blue is like definitely a favorite. I love this. The moment I used it, I was like, wow. I use this on a lot of my vintage inks. I mean, vintage pens. And of course, my One More Sleep, which is more of a purple, actually. And I've already mentioned that Indian Blue is one of the inks that I I really like a lot. But that's like a lot of sheen. And I don't know, is that sheen? Is that shimmer? I think it's sheen. Yeah, it's just lovely. Look at it. I, I love it. But I'm a bit worried about the um, nib, should I use it. So one, two, three. From this side of it, I would say Troublemaker Milky Ocean is a nice one, but to be honest, I haven't used this on a pen yet, so I don't know how light or dark it would look. And of course, I really enjoy uh, Cat Glistening from Clairverse and Mont Blanc's Ink of Friendship is actually very near Waterman, but Waterman is just a bit more vibrant and happy, actually. I feel like this is such a happy ink. So how many did, did I... Go for one, two, three, four. A, did I go for five? Yep. So these five inks with uh, a special mention of Milky Ocean, which is another blurple, um, I think would be my five favorite blue inks. I'm not going to have a separate sheet like what I usually do. Well, maybe not today because my hands are too blue for this. Um, maybe I will after this recording and just file it in. We will see because I just sanitized everything I used because I have used them through multiple bottles and I was so like surprised when I saw mold in one of them. Now it's, it's good it was towards the end. Um, but now I'm a little bit paranoid about uh, the tools I've used. I've just sanitized them. I don't think I'll be using them today because I'll be dousing them with alcohol and all of that after this recording. Anyway, um, thank you very much for joining me today. And I hope that this collection of blues that I shared with you would help you figure out which uh, blue you would like and which shade and which whatever color leaning one you would prefer. Um, let me know if you think this would be, it would be a good idea for me to post all these pictures of all these inks on Instagram. I always wonder if that's something people would like to look at and um, compare blues by or is it like too many on a page i don't know i'm thinking about it if you have ideas uh share your ideas so i also know what you guys prefer all right um thank you very much i haven't really said thank you yet i currently have six thousand subs here and i am just uh wowed by that thank you thank you thank you for subscribing if you haven't yet and you enjoy looking at inks and unboxing uh, fountain pens and stationery, do s consider subscribing so that you have a more, like you get notifications when I put something up. Um, if you haven't noticed too, I haven't been posting videos regularly. I'm trying to um, schedule them. I'm not very successful in that yet, but 
I'm trying to schedule them so I send sometime midweek maybe Wednesday and then I send another one I don't know maybe a Friday or a Saturday just for us to watch over the weekend um so yeah those are the updates from my end and these are the blues from today okay then uh, this is Kai from Kikai Craft I hope that wherever you are you're having a great day or a restful evening bye everyone mm -hmm.